guys, so let's dive right into it. We're going to start from the bottom up. So the first thing that I put on my feet when I start getting ready is my dive socks. Those are the ones that go into the fins. Nice new prune dive socks. Uh, these ones are Rob Allen's. They are really, really good. They've got the diamond um, material at the bottom. You can walk on fairly ground and rocks and those. Don't slip and they do last a little bit longer than your normal ones. Okay, then I've got my fins here today. These are Spora Sub Carbon fins. Um, yeah, it's not very expensive fins, but they do the job for me. It's not plastic fins. If you do, or if you're a beginner and you start out doing shore dives, um, I'd prefer if you use your plastic fins. Don't go straight into carbons. I normally use these only when I'm diving off the boat, but I've got them today with me, so I'm going to do the shore dive with them today. Okay, so let's go into then. I've got my open cell. This is a lizard open cell 5mm. It's still winter here in, in, in South Africa. So I'm diving with my open cell 5mm today. Make sure that you've got your lubrication with you um, to, uh, to, to get dressed with your wetsuit. It's, um, it's very important that you have your lubrication with you. Okay, so that's out of the way. Next is the top I've got this one is just a high waist it's not the former John it's just a high waist so it can get in and out a little bit easier if you need to take it out then I've got my jacket um, tip um, about taking off the stuff when you take off your jacket make sure you take off your watch first otherwise you're gonna get tangled up and make sure you put your hoodie on first before you take your jacket off okay um, then we're gonna go over to the gloves Guys, I do not like those very expensive new green gloves that you do get. I prefer the thinner ones. These are actually handyman gloves. A lot cheaper because you do go through quite a lot of gloves. If you have to grip onto the coral, you do go through a lot of gloves. So I prefer the thinner ones. I also got a lot of more feel when I have to pull the trigger than those new new green ones. This is a Aqualung Technisup low volume mask. Very, very nice, close to the face. Uh, the lower the volume, the closer to your face, the wider your angle and the better for equalizing. Um, then I've got uh, just a normal little silicone snorkel. Fits into the bag, does the job. I do not use, I used to use it when I started out. Um, I don't use that little rubber thingy that keeps uh, the, the snorkel there. I prefer to put it in there simply because if this is at the back of my head, the highest point when I'm in the water, is the snorkel will be at the highest point as soon as you put it next to your head it tends to go down or it tends to go sideways it's not always at the highest point if you put it through like that your snorkel will always be at the highest point when you are in the water so that's the only reason why I prefer that with my mask I use a mask defogger so if you buy a new mask there's a lot of videos but I'll also do a video sometime about that how you burn your lenses and take toothpaste to clean your lenses the, the silicone off your lenses and then I use this this is a May product anti-fog um, especially if you're doing boat dives and and you take your mask on and off and on and off you don't want to spit in it all day long sometimes it doesn't work anymore this stuff really really works you put it on once and you set for the whole day okay this is slippy that I use the labels a little gone already but this is slippy it's a powder but it's, it's very neutral it doesn't have any smell doesn't have any smell or anything it's a powder based that you mix with water uh, two teaspoons in half a little of water and it becomes a lubricant for your for your wetsuit it doesn't damage your wetsuit but you can use baby cream you can use uh, conditioner you can use anything don't use um, dishwashing liquid or something like that because that can be harmful to your skin or to your wetsuit so I prefer slippy um, get it online stores search for it very good product next thing is a float so this is a rubber tech float very nice because your line is on it don't, don't get tangled or anything so then i've got my stringer here for hopefully to string some fish on fits nicely in there between the rope when you enter shore entry so yeah ropes on there little tuna clip clips onto your gun at the end here very neatly and then today i'm taking with my one meter rubber tech stealth roller gun with me um, yeah, and that's basically the gear that I've got for today. Oops, I almost forgot. And I've got my weight belt. On my weight belt, as normal, my weights, uh, belt drill, and a little knife to put the fish out of their misery as quickly and humanely as possible. On the weight belt, 
we've got another tuna clip so if you shoot something and your line do get tangled you need something to uh you've got that not necessary so much for short out because your gun is connected to your buoy but always nice to have handy on your gun i'm quickly going to get the slippy mixture and everything ready and i'll show you how to put your wetsuit on guys when you want to lubricate guys when you want to lubricate <laughs> your wetsuit i've already got my slippy mixture just pour a little some of it inside there close the top close the bottom make sure you get some everywhere and then hopefully you'll see now it just slips on here we go This is a goal. I think I stuck you all way. Yeah, then again, same thing. Get some loop in there. Make sure that you grab your hoodie, otherwise everything's gonna spill out. So grab your sleeves, your hoodie. Take it around. Grab it in there everywhere. And if you're not sure if everything's around, just take your hand, make sure that it's looped everywhere. And again, it should slip right on. <laughs> Easy as that. Now guys, when you are putting on your dive, when you put your dive socks on, make sure that you put them underneath your wetsuit. Because if it's not underneath, then the water is going to get in there as you swim. The water is going to catch in there. So I'm going to show you now on this one, if you put it above the wetsuit, like that, the water is going to come in there, it's going to get irritate you. Okay, so make sure that you pull your wetsuit up, then the socks. And then you wait to. Okay, next thing, it's your white belt. Fairly simple to put on. Put it around your waist. Pull it tight. I did explain why we use the rubber ones. Much more comfortable than the nylon ones. You can pull this one a lot tighter. Okay, then I've got my watch. And I've got my gloves. Another thing why we use the thinner gloves makes it a lot easier to get on the rest of your gear. Got my gloves on. The mask and the fins I'm going to put on in the water. So the mask you actually put on when you get close to the water. The fins you actually walk until you're about waist high in the water and then you put your fins on. Otherwise you're going to struggle these fins are very long, you can't walk with them. Even if it's just shallow water, you can't walk with them. Same thing when you're coming out. Make sure when you're waist deep, stand up, take off your fins, put them under your arm and walk out with them. So, when we are entering the water, make sure you don't, don't have a lot of line out on your float. This creates a lot of drag. When you're already through the surf, 20 meters back, your float will still be dragging in the surf. In the surf. So it's going to be a tuck on your gun, on your on your gun and on your hand the whole time if you if you've got too much line out on your on your buoy so make sure nice and short line if you want to you can even use it like this this one's got a nice handle so you can grab it like that next to your gun and swim with your fins and swim through the surf if there's no surf no problem then you can just enter
comments if you have anything else to add please leave a comment and tell us what video would you like to see next in our beginners guide and stuff that you're struggling with and we can get the experts i'm not an expert at all but i am only telling you what i have learned and what i'm struggling with so so guys that wraps up the episode about our gear review for uh shore dive and how to enter and exit the surf so please subscribe and like